Alsari Michelle B with Remax Services here in beautiful Boca Raton, Florida. I work in sunny South Florida with buyers and sellers. And today's Michelle B's Five in the Hive is going to be talking about seniors that are making a move. I am a senior real estate specialist and a certified senior housing professional. What does that mean? Well, I've taken a lot of training on working with this segment of the real estate market when they have decided that they're going to make a move. Um, number one, create a plan. Uh, come up with your game plan that works for you and have some goals in mind in regard to, you know, when you want to sell your property, where you want to go, how much you want to spend, and come up with something that is uniquely for you. Number two, you're going to probably need to communicate with family and friends and so you want to kind of decide how you want to go about doing that. You've made up your mind, you know what you want to do, so it is time for you to just share that information. Of course people are going to have an opinion, but you need to do what's right for you. Number three, which is a great segue, there are great professionals out there along with your real estate agent that can help you. I personally have a great referral team of people that when I have a seller that has made that decision that they're going to be making a move or their family has um, made that decision uh, for them because sometimes that also happens, um, we have placement companies that can help tour you around different um, assisted living communities. I have move managers can help you pack up, can you know get your car to where you need to have it going. Um, I work with trusted advisors like attorneys and CPAs. I am a one call handles it all scenario. So my customers know that they can call me, text me, or email me and I will put them in touch with individuals that hopefully can help them. Number four, dealing with a house full of possessions. Oh my goodness, this is the biggest issue I'm seeing so much on, and I run into this. Um, first and foremost, nobody wants all of your things. And the other piece is, a lot of times, the possessions that you already own um, don't have a lot of value to them. So I know some of the discussions I have with my customers include, well, you know, I spent this much on this. Well, that may be, but in today's market, it's considered, you know, secondhand furniture. So just keep that in mind. A lot of times you can donate, but sometimes even the nonprofits are not taking certain, um, you know, pieces of furniture. Uh, so you can definitely declutter, pack up, you know, keep what you're going to keep, donate what you're going to donate, and throw out what you're going to throw out. And know this, and you need to kind of lean in on this one. Your kids do not want everything in your house. So maybe pick out a few things for each person that you want to give something to, box it up, and give that to them. And hey, adult kids, if there's a couple of things that you like, let your parents know because sometimes there's a little miscommunication and you want to just make sure that that's clear before someone comes in and declutters and clears out the house. Um, number five, when you are done, celebrate your new lifestyle if that is something that you want to do. Um, you know, it's a stressful time to downsize and you're leaving a home behind in many cases that you've lived in for a long time. So keep these in mind and work with people that are sensitive to your needs and your situation. You can follow along on my Facebook page, which is um, Real Estate Transitions Coach. I work with seniors that are making a move and their families and I also work with uh, people that have inherited property or dealing with probate and I deal with folks that are going through divorce So you can certainly follow along on my Facebook page like it There's always lots of good tips there on moving and placement and downsizing and transitioning, etc And you can also follow my blog at hashtag soboca.com and uh, also follow along on Instagram So I'm glad you stopped by today and good luck with your move